In today's video, we are going to go over placing rooms and room tags. I have a just a square box enclosed by four walls and two doors. If I click on the wall in the Go to the Properties palette, there's an instance parameter called room bounding that's checked by default. This is important to make sure that all the walls have this turned on because you need an enclosed space to place your room. To place my room, I'll go to the architecture tab and activate the room command. Notice all the options in the options bar and up here on the ribbon. The option that I think is most important and that is most commonly used is the tag on placement. It's activated currently and I want to keep it activated. That will basically place my tag when I place my room. You can see the difference when I'm trying to hover over, hover over a place that isn't enclosed versus a place that is enclosed. And the X indicates the extents of the room. I'm going to place my room. Hit the modify command to exit out of that command and rename my room. Now let's say I want to make this room two separate rooms. And currently, if I were to do that, I can't really. So in order to do that, I want to use a room separator. So I'll simply draw that to split the room into two. Now you'll see that my X is just this upper portion, but I want the lower portion to be the big room. So I can grab this X, click and hold down and drag it over into the big space. Then I get a warning down here that basically says, you have a tag that is outside of the room. Do you want to leave it or move it to the room? I'm gonna move it to the room. And now my tag is updated in its room. Now I can place another room. Hit the modify command and rename. Now I mentioned before you can move these X's around. This is an important trick to know. I'm gonna move this one over to the left and I'll move this one over to the right and I'll delete my room tags. That warning that popped up, that's just telling you, you deleted your room tag, but your room still exists, which is okay. So if I wanna to go to the annotate tab and tag all, I wanna tag all my rooms at once. So I click room tags and the drop down, I want my room tag, room name. And I'm gonna hit apply and okay. So see that my room tags landed right in the middle of the X. So this is useful when you're placing a room in a space like a kitchen that may have an island and you don't want your room tag to automatically land on top of your island every time. So let's say I wanna make this back. I, I no longer want this two rooms, I want this one room. So I want to delete that. And then I get a warning. That warning is basically saying you deleted your room, but your room still exists in the project. Even though the X isn't there, I can find the X here, but I can't find the X there. The room still exists. If I were to go over to my room schedule that's already set up, I can see the one I just tried to delete is the small room and it tells me it's not placed. So in order to get rid of the room in the project, I can use the delete row command and it's just saying that it's going to delete the room and any associated tags okay that's fine so i go back to my level one and now i only have the big room and i can delete the room separator and i have one room uh, now let's talk about redundant rooms what if i wanted to split this room back into two spaces and I'm going to add another room tag and I just kind of forget or accidentally place and put another room here in the same spot. It'll give me a warning that says I can delete one of them or press okay. I think naturally people are just gonna say okay and keep going and place the rooms. And you can visibly see here when I'm in the room command that this area that I have two rooms placed is darker than this area. So if I go to my room schedule, now it'll tell me I have a redundant room. So that tells me I have two rooms in one enclosed space. And I can simply say delete row. And it's telling me it's going to delete the room and any associated tags. Okay. So now over 
into my floor plan. Now I have two rooms and I feel pretty good about my room schedule and my rooms. And one last thing, this bright green room separator line that's showing up, it will print on your document. So it's important to go to visibility graphics under lines and turn off those room separator lines so they don't print in your final documents. Thanks for watching.